Believe it or not, Gulf Shores isn't all sunshine, palm trees, and bushwhackers. <laughs> yeah, what if we told y'all there's a lot of reasons people just flat out avoid moving to Gulf Shores? It's true, we're working with so many people who are making their move to Lower Alabama because they just love Gulf Shores. But Gulf Shores is actually the very last place they want to buy a house in. And I'm sure you're wondering why. So we're going to share some things with you that might make you change your mind about moving to Gulf Shores, Alabama. Sweet home, Alabama. Starting with home prices. You know, I've noticed a lot of people have been griping about how pricey it is to live in Gulf Shores and the Orange Beach area. Facts. While in part true, I do find myself asking this, why wouldn't it be semi-pricey? Anywhere worth living tends to be pricier, so expect to pay a premium to live in Gulf Shores. I mean, it's a gorgeous area, good school systems, lots to do, big tourist spot, and it's growing rapidly. Now, I've traveled to places like Austin, Texas and Charleston, South Carolina, both extremely popular places to live, right? I grew up in Chicago, the Windy City, and I don't think Gulf Shores is anywhere close to being as bad as those places when it comes to home prices. That's true. In my opinion, housing here is extremely affordable for a beach town. Right? Name a white sand beach town anywhere in the entire country that's cheaper. We'll wait. <laughs> but you'll definitely pay more to live here than you would in say surrounding towns like Foley or Robertsdale or Loxley, just to name a few. The good news is you can definitely see the positive things that are continually happening and you can see where your tax dollars are going unlike many other very expensive places. That makes it a little bit easier to reconcile that higher cost. It's also a beautiful area and it's a very well-run city too. That's true, there's definitely other factors um, causing some major concerns about moving here like the soaring insurance costs that are literally killing people That's on their homes everywhere. and their condos. Uh, many insurance companies won't even cover Gulf Shores anymore which makes it that much worse because the lack of competition. So these insurance companies that do cover the area are actually just charging a lot more and they're justifying it because they're the only ones that are writing policies in the area. Now the obvious but most common concern for people who want to move to Gulf Shores are the tourists. Yeah, so in high tourism areas, you may find yourself dealing with some tourist annoyances such as a constant stream of vendors, uh, horrible traffic, skimmers, and even beggars. Tour zones are also often the target of local pickpockets and they tend to be noisy and crowded. Uh, let's not forget to mention that parking can be a daily aggravation. Especially at those local beaches. In fact, we just experienced this firsthand last week during the annual shrimp festival uh, over the weekend, which attracts a good 250,000 people. Yeah, I think we moved an inch every 30 minutes and parking wasn't even an option and we know better but we still braved the crowd and we got there later in the day and it was just a total rookie move on it our was. behalf. I mean it just seems that bad but it's not. Now some tourists aren't always the most respectful either. A lot of people on vacation mode are having drinks and just not paying attention to how they're leaving the beach or the restaurant or the Airbnb. I mean, they might leave it a little bit of a mess and that's just life in a tourist town. Yeah, it unfortunately comes with the territory, but I can say Gulf Shores locals and the city workers, they do go the extra mile to take 100%. care. Um, they take care and maintain the cleanliness of our public beaches and our parks. Um, no one hesitates to clean up after a vacationer and that's just always the way it's been here. Or to fill in, you know, the sand holes, the big, freaking mess that they made. <laughs> I always remind myself that Pensacola is the exact opposite too. Every time I visit there, I'm always surprised how much trash is on the curbs or left yeah. at the beach. Garbages are overflowing and the bathrooms are a mess. It's night and day from what we see here in Gulf Shores. And granted, I mean, we're a lot smaller of a city, but it's still something that you can't miss. And I wanna circle back to the traffic really quick. Um, does traffic ever really die down? Is there ever really an off season? I'd say around now till spring, it definitely slows down a bit, um, but there are still plenty of people vacation here and enjoying the beaches. You'll still hear about that traffic though. There's just way more people living in Gulf Shores now, so the roads are needing some updates to support that growth and needing some widening. 
Yeah, they're working on it. Another reason why so many are avoiding moving to Gulf Shores is because of the amount of vacation rentals. So many houses and condos are being used as rentals and not everyone wants to live in a neighborhood or a condo complex that also is a revolving door for random vacationers mm -hmm. slash strangers who are sometimes loud and messy. I know that's not really an ideal place that I want to live. Yeah, I wouldn't want to. And we're seeing more and more people opting for the surrounding towns that are still close to Gulf Shores because they really want to embrace the southern culture that we talk about and you know live in a small town where everyone knows everyone. And like Jess said, you're gonna have a lot of people just running through Gulf Shores year round. Okay, another concern is jobs. Gulf Shores being a tourist town means that the service industry is one of the main sources of employment. However, there's actually a huge, huge shortage for those service workers because the pay isn't the greatest and the price of housing is so inflated. So a lot of these people that work in this industry, they can't even afford to live here in Gulf I feel Shores. Like there's a lot of the country too. But on the other hand, I can see how this can be a pro to some people. The big employers won't be found here and it helps keep the town small. People are looking for a small, quiet, quaint town and Gulf Shores is known for being that small town with a big beach. You get the best of both worlds. You also get everything you need to be entertained on top of it. Yeah, you can't beat that. It's definitely a trade-off. Um, honestly, I can't tell y'all how many people call us from those larger metro areas and they tell us they just want out. They always say the same thing. It's just, it's not the same anymore. Um, here in Baldwin County, the biggest city you'll find barely has 30,000 people in it. And it's just night and day and people- real, Night and day. Yeah, and people are searching for exactly what we have to offer. So if you can deal with these concerns, make sure you give us a call because we are the number one relocation team in all of Gulf Shores. And if you wanna to continue to learn more about living here in Lower Alabama, check out this next video.